This morning I'm reading Exodus chapter 25, verses 23 through 30, and God instructs Israel uh, to craft a table of showbread or a table of the presence. Uh, it's to be constructed the same way that the Ark of the Covenant was, uh, out of acacia wood, uh, plated with, with gold, plating all the way around with rings and rods so that the table could be picked up and carried. Now here's what's cool about the table of the presence or the table of showbread. Um, it is on this table that drink offerings were to be poured out and a perpetual loaf of bread was to be sitting on this table. And this symbolism is so cool. God did not merely desire to rule over a people. Uh, he wasn't like one of the one of the made up gods of the other nation. He wasn't like a false god that demanded sacrifice and demanded worship in order to be appeased. Uh, God's desire is different. Um, his desire is to have communion with his people and not just to have a people for himself, uh, but to have a people to himself and not just so his people would be under him, but his desire is to dwell with his people. People and this is one of the coolest things about God um, that I, that I can think of because um, God in the Old Testament it's symbolic right desires to eat and drink with His people it's apparent that He desires to do that and He symbolically does that in the Old Testament and at the advent of Jesus and particularly as we approach the Last Supper Jesus God in the flesh sets up communion with his people. And he says something like, I will not drink of this cup again, either this bread again, until I drink of it anew with you in my father's kingdom. Jesus, God in the flesh, desires to have communion with his people. And one of the whole reasons that God is going through everything that he's going through is so that in the end, we will be his people, he will be our God, and he will be among us, living with us, having communion with us, eating and drinking with us. Like that's the, that's the end game. And uh, it's really, really cool to think about in the Old Testament, we have this early icon, this early image of what God is doing, not just trying to have control or oppress people because it's not what he's doing, um, but desiring to have communion with his people. And when we meet as a church today and we have communion, Jesus is at the table with us having communion. Why? Because that is what God desires to do.